Hey, thanks for watching. This is my supplemental video to the build video for the Ravel 196 scale USS Constitution. Uh, so I was shooting how to do the stirrups and the foot ropes for the yards and uh, it ended up being too long for inclusion in the other video. So I decided to put it in a separate video. So this is for those of you who are interested in how I did my stirrups and foot ropes. Uh, keep in mind, this is my first sailing ship since I was a kid and really the first time I ever did stirrups and foot ropes. I just did a little bit of research on the uh, internet as to how some other people did it. Uh, so I put together this technique and it seemed to work pretty well. So I hope you find it useful and enjoy the video. I'm at the point of attaching the foot ropes to the yards. And I'm guessing that this is one of the hardest parts of building this ship. You people who build sailing ships uh, a lot probably have your own techniques for doing it. And I'm going to show you what I came up with. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is attach the foot ropes to the yards and then uh, once those are done for all the yards I'll come back in and add the stirrups. Uh, one thing I've done is uh, I've color coded all of the yards, uh, three colors, one for each mast and that way uh, after they cut off the sprues I still know which mast they go to. So what I have set up here is two uh, one, two, three blocks, the heaviest ones I have and I've taped the yard to the one, two, three block. And I'm using this tweezer clamped on here uh, for the position of where I'm gonna tie the, uh, the foot rope. So the first thing I'm gonna do is tie on the foot rope. And to do that, I first get it wet, make it a little more workable. And then I just pretty simply just tie it on here adjacent to the tweezer. I just use a double knot. Then I'm using uh, clothespins to maintain tension. And one thing is I got to remember that the, the yards actually have a top and a bottom because I haven't put the, the extenders on yet. So I, I put the tension on with clothespins and then I stick a toothpick in a piece of uh, in some super glue and I glue the yard where I want it and I also glue the knot and then I let that dry so that will come I'll let that dry and then I'll tie on the uh, other side in the same position So at this point, I've tied on the two different foot ropes, one on each side. And uh, first thing I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to get ready to tie the this foot rope onto this end. So the first thing I do is I use the clamping tweezer and I put it at the place where I, I want to put the rope. And that will keep the rope from sliding this way on the yard. So the next thing I do is I clamp a clothespin on the foot rope and that will maintain tension and I kind of have been using this method where if I pull it all the way up so the clothespin uh, hits the yard that would give me enough slack or the right amount of slack uh, to be accurate for what I'm trying to do. Um, so I'm going to try and keep the clothespin up to the yard. It, looking at some of the other ones I did it actually seemed kind of tight but um, I kind of feel like it's better to be too tight than too loose. So now I am going to wrap the rope around the yard on the end. So I think that's about what I want. So then I put a clothespin on the end to maintain the tension. Now I super glue the rope where I've wrapped it around the yard and then I let that dry. So the problem with this method is there's a, a lot of gluing and then letting dry. Uh, each yard is uh, six or so glue steps. Um, so I'm going to let that dry and then we'll come back and we'll tie a knot. So I'm ready to tie this in a knot. I should mention I don't have any uh, super glue activator or CA activator 
Uh, if I did, probably make things a little easier because I wouldn't have to wait so long for the, the glue to dry, but I'd wait like a minute or so each time. So I'm just going to tie this in a double knot. And fix it with some super glue. Once again, close pin for some tension for on the knot and let that dry. So then the plan is, uh, I think I'm going to make the rope look like it's hanging by covering it with white glue and then I'm going to use wire to put on the stirrups. Um, so I'll finish up the foot ropes first and then we'll see how the rest of that works. This is one of my yards with the stirrups added and it's been painted all black. This is one of the yards uh, with the stirrups added and it hasn't been painted yet. So I'm making the stirrups out of uh, 30 gauge copper wire and I'm going to show you how to do that now. So here's one of my yards. It's got the foot ropes on it already and it's ready to have the stirrups added. So the first thing I'm going to do is dip it in water. And I'm doing that to get the ropes wet because I'm going to use white glue to solidify the ropes and having them wet helps them uh, helps the glue spread across the ropes. So to work on the yard, I'm going to tape it to my one, two, three blocks. And I got to remember uh, that there's actually a top and a bottom to the yard. This one gets the, uh, the sail boom extender or whatever or attached. Now I use these alligator clips to put tension on the ropes, on the foot ropes. So I don't know, you probably can't see that on the camera, but it's hanging down about a centimeter from uh, the yard arm at the maximum, at the maximum point. Now I use a toothpick to spread white glue along the foot ropes. And try not to get any big clumps. I don't worry too much about where the clips are hanging other than I don't want them hanging right where I'm going to put the stirrups. So the next thing I do is, is attach the stirrups to the yard. So I'm using 30 gauge wire. I tried 34 and that seemed to be uh, too thin. Uh, 30 seems reasonable, easy enough to work with. So I just cut a length. So this one gets uh, two stirrups. And this one was supposed to have the Flemish horse loop at the end. I forgot to put those on. Um, so I'm just going to leave it without the Flemish horse loop, but would basically just do this the same way. So I just wrap the rope or wrap the, the wire around the yard. And I've been trying to do it twice, but I've never really been too good at that. This one I'm getting tw twice. I've uh, mis mis misestimated the length.
And once I've wrapped it around, I take some uh, liquid cement and dab it on there to glue it in place. So I've added the other three. I've added the other three and I want to cement them into place. Now the next step I don't want to do until after the wires have been cemented onto the yard and that glue has dried, but I don't want to wait until the white glue dries. So there's a bit of a timing issue here. I want the white glue to still be wet, but I want the wires to be secured to the yard. So I'm going to wait about 10 minutes or so for that, uh, for the cement to dry, and then I'll come back and I'll finish up the stirrups. All right, the cement is dried, so I'm going to attach the stirrups to the ropes. And the first thing I do is trim the length to about what it needs to be. Then I take a pair of tweezers. So one pair of tweezers is sort of the hinge point or the fulcrum point. And I use the other pair to bend the end up. And then at this point, I usually see that I didn't trim enough off, but better to trim too little and too much. And now, using either tweezers or my hand or whatever works, I bring it up and wrap it around the rope and try and give it a twist. So that's one. And then when I remove the clips, uh, the rope usually stays right in position. It doesn't spring back up. If you wait too long, the glue will sort of, the Elmer's glue, the white glue, will sort of uh, dry the clips to the rope, but it, it comes off. You just want to avoid clumps. So there, that's the final uh, final result for this one. Final result for this one. Uh, this one needs uh, some additional attachments on the top, so I'll take care of that. But that's how I've been putting on the stirrups, and it seems to work reasonably well, at least good enough for uh, my, my first ship. Uh, so I'm gonna continue on with those.